What's up, my crypto homies? So listen, today, in honor of the in-solar rug pull, let's talk. DeFi mania is coming, and last time we saw a lot of hype in DeFi. Like Most of the rug pulls are in DeFi, if you don't know. So let's look. This is in October of 2020. 12 DeFi coin con artists exposed. So let's talk about different ones. Uh, the complaints against, let's see. Anyway, we'll talk about, you had Amplify Money. Rug pulled after collecting 2,500 Ethereum from investors. According to the message left on their website, the Amplify Money team claimed that one of the dev compromised the wallet and was able to use a little known vulnerability in the compiler itself. It adds that the devs are receiving a fair amount of threats, so we decided to terminate the project. Beer Garden Finance Burn Vault Finance. Uh, let's see. CB Dow. The project had a pre sale for SB Re tokens, which would be swapped for Bree. One of the admin wallets exploited a backdoor, and after that, the was con the Esprit was converted to Bree and sold it in the market, pushing the price down. The 50,000 Bree was sold for 200 ETH. Degen Balls, Emerald Mine, LV Finance, Falsified Audit Results, Minions Farm, uh, Tomatoes Finance, Unicat, Meow, a backdoor in the smart contract allowed Unicat to keep control over users' tokens even after they were withdrawn from the pool around $200,000 of the crypto had been stolen. Unirocket and YFDX Finance. In the medium to long term, continuing incidents of rug pooling will hurt the belief that decentralized finance can be the panacea to the long standing problem of financial exclusion. Influencers and community leaders have an obligation to help fix these problems, as doing this is the only way to maintain the public's interest in DeFi. If people keep doing this nonsense and, you know, pumping coins or falsely pumping coins or, you know, leading people on that they're actually you know, making progress with their project and then all of a sudden just cut that shit out and, you know, kick the legs out and just dump on everybody. It, it gives a bad name to the entire cryptocurrency market, blockchain and everything. And everyone that's involved in that should be shunned from the market, I believe. I, I don't care how good you are. If you do that, you should be shunned from the market. People should... Anyway, dark side of DeFi, millions USD worth of Ethereum lost to Uniswap rug pools. So DeFi tokens continue to flood the market. This was in August again, uh, right in that DeFi hype from last year, kind of minting new coins and listing them on Uniswap every day. While this might present an earning opportunity for some, the number of so-called rug pools is also on the rise. Uh, we saw thousands of Ethereum lost all over. And here's some different ideas on how to watch out for Uniswap rug pools. DeFi rug pools were crypto's top fraud scheme in 2020 by Cypher Trace. This was uh, January 28th of this year. Blockchain and analytics company Cypher Trace released new data about cryptocurrency and crime in 2020. Crypto criminals made $1.9 billion and DeFi was the most vulnerable. DeFi rug pools and exit scams made up 99% of all crypto fraud schemes in the second half of 2020, according to the new data from blockchain analytics company CypherTrace. It's the part of CypherTrace's year-end examining cryptocurrency role in criminal activity over the course of 2020, similar to what Chain Analysis released earlier this month. According to CypherTrace, criminals netted $1.9 billion in 2020, scamming that from everybody else. That's down from $4.5 billion in 2019, though, and up from 1.7 in 2018. The majority of crypto-linked criminal activities fall under the general rubric of fraud and misrepresentation. The second most is hacks and thefts. All right, so here's $10.8 million stolen developers implicated in alleged smart contract rug pool. And this was another decentralized finance project was rug pulled Tuesday with some 10.8 million in investor funds stolen due to a hidden backdoor in the project smart contract. And this was Compounders Finance. Another rug pull right here takes place taking a $1.5 million market cap Ethereum coin to $15,000. DeFi rug pool has taken place as investors continue to throw money at an array of Ethereum small caps, even if they don't have fully developed projects or long-standing teams. This is common, though. I mean, 
you can't blame people for trying and looking for a project and most of the time there's barely any information barely anything about anything and you're just making a speculative bet at this low right and you're hoping for big things like i've seen some i've thrown money at something i didn't know and it exploded and then you find ones where you do research and it looks great and then next thing you know it tanks it, it's really really hard uh take dogecoin it was a meme coin that pumped to the moon for a second and now it crashed back it's all about behavioral finance what the projects are doing and then how legit the project is and how um transparent they are with their community or you know are they just leading people on to pump it, it it's really it can be really hard to figure this out just x plunges 99 percent as project suddenly closes down so basically, this is a common thing right here. Another team of criminals rugged in just X in Telegram, telling some pitiful story about having to give up because they only have three months of money. And that's the common thing right there. Oh, well, we made a project, but you know now it's going to be harder to do than we can take in solar. So we just don't have the money to do it. So basically, you can all just eat a rock and we're backing out and we don't care. Bye. And that's a shame. That's crypto fraud. Uh... Or it's at least misinformation. Here's another top cryptocurrency scams of 2019. And you had Bitpoint. Let's see what they got on here. So you had Bitpoint hacked for $28 million. You had hackers steal $40 million in crypto from Binance. The two Israeli brothers were arrested after phishing scam that lasted three years. That's a big one too. You see lots of phishing scams or, hey, send me some Ethereum and I'll send you back twice as much or... A lot of crypto channels, you'll see guys on the bottom that, you know, person impersonate many of the crypto uh, big names out there and then say, hey, look, I want you to join me on an investment opportunity or all sorts of nonsense. And it's not even them. They're just make you know, it has nothing to do with whatever channel. So be careful of that stuff, too. Six arrested in the UK and Netherlands over twenty seven or seven million dollar type O squat type squatting scam. A hack is suspected as the cause of the Kraken Bitcoin flash crash. $10 million in XRP stolen from GateHub. Singapore exchange BitTrue hacked for $4 million. And so on. Everybody remembers Mt. Gox launched in 2010. Mt. Gox was the world's largest Bitcoin exchange until its demise in 2014. Uh, Alt-Tilly. That's one. I used that for a while too. And I lost some on this. I was still working through the processes but uh this is a recent one in december you know day after christmas 2020 they got hacked earlier this or that's when the announcement was but uh earlier this week on the 23rd we noticed suspicious activities on their servers there were three service servers suspiciously rebooted around the same time after checking the servers we re we noticed unusual activity and a new system user had been created on our servers it appears that these systems were hacked above os level using Re-Q mode during the reboot. Um, anyway, if you go, the Alt Tilly Exchange is locked up. They're still working with this. Shut it down, and they had a bunch of coins on there that you know you could. Anyway, so these are things that we're gonna have to keep in mind, and it's only going to get worse uh, as more money flows into the uh, DeFi market, into cryptocurrency more retail investors come in more new money comes in and that money flows down where they see bitcoin ethereum and then the the ability to just completely 10x 100x 1000x off of micro cap coins that's why people throw money at these and that's why scammers hang out there and it is so hard to find the good from the bad sometimes um but we're looking and you know we're still picking some winners, but the insular one was kind of a, a little bit of a kick in the nuts as far as, you know, how things went down. But we'll move on, and everybody does. So just keep an eye on your, you know, where we're, where we're going. And even if we recommend something here, you know, we, we can't, we research what we can, and we get a feel for coins and stuff like that. But I'm a one-man army, and I do the best I can, and everyone makes mistakes. So that being said, I do try to provide the best quality that we can find out there. We can see the market cap is pushing $1.6 trillion. So good things are on the way. And, you know, this is just a part of being in crypto, ups and downs. 
And, you know, there's a lot of bad elements in everything, but right now there's a lot of bad elements in crypto that are looking to take advantage of people and keep your eyes wide open. All right, then. We'll see you on the flip. Cheers. Uh-huh.